Welcome. Please insert keycard. Processing. Access to Site 81's database has been granted. Secure. Contain. Protect. Item No. SCP-4617 Objects Class, Euclid Special Containment Procedures, SCP-4617 is contained in a minimally furnished cell outfitted with a padded basin molded to its body, featuring multiple drainage ports on the underside. SCP-4617 is supplied with nutrients and water via a removable face mask which can be triggered to dispense halothane or benzodiazepines in the event that it appears to be in distress. Staff interacting with SCP-4617 are to wear type 1 respirators and have a rotation period of no more than 6 weeks, in order to minimize the long-term health effects of formaldehyde exposure. Once every 2 weeks, a member of D-Class personnel should swab SCP-4617's skin and orifices for bacterial or fungal contamination, if any is found. A team of D-Class overseen by a senior researcher are to fully decontaminate the entity's soft tissues. The solution produced by the entity is to be stored in Fluid Warehouse 9, and transported by personnel with Level 2 or higher chemical handling proficiency. Objects produced in Zeta Comma events are to be handled by the Site 063 on duty HMCL supervisor on a case by case basis. Description SCP 4617 is a human male of indeterminate age whose organic tissue constantly secretes an impure aqueous solution of formaldehyde and methanol in place of most other organic compounds or mixtures, neither sweat, mucus, saliva, blood plasma, bile, lymph, digestive fluid tears, or vitreous humor are produced by the entity. SCP-4617's cells are unanimously non-functional, and it appears to be effectively immortal. Due to its condition, SCP-4617 is blind and largely deaf, and previous nasopharyngeal cancers one have eliminated its capacity for speech. Large portions of its skin are missing due to the lack of most biological healing and gradual tissue erosion and the embalming properties of its secreted solution render it unable to move without great difficulty. While SCP-4617 expresses a psychological need for food, water, and oxygen, displaying psychosomatic symptoms and distress if they are withheld, the preservation of its body appears to negate all normal biological requirements. SCP-4617 has successfully endured up to nine weeks without food or water displaying no major physical deterioration during this time. Once every 18 days, plus minus 15 hours, SCP-4617 will undergo an event, during which time it will violently convulse, tense all muscles, and slowly expel from its mouth a single mason jar, diameter 20 cm, filled with chemically pure water. In approximately 90% of cases, this jar will also contain a single object or document related to SCP-4617 in some way too. Despite being submerged in water, all objects will be in perfect condition upon their retrieval, and will remain undamaged while within their respective jar. To date, such objects have included, small denominations of coinage. A pocket watch, polished but unwound. A birth certificate identifying SCP-4617 as one Richard L. Hoffman a dog collar. A sepia-toned photograph of SCP-4617, presumably pre-anomaly, and a young woman, sitting in front of a canal. Pages of notebooks containing diary entries, small watercolor paintings, and poems centered around the themes of rebirth, youth, and impermanence. Glass files of the solution secreted by SCP-4617. A sketch of an idyllic countryside scene, featuring SCP-4617, the woman from the aforementioned photograph, and two young children, standing in front of a cottage. All but SCP-4617 are smiling. A pair of spectacles, broken. An ornate dinner plate, broken, recovered in fragments. Copies of various fiction and non-fiction works, all published prior to 1868. Small, secondary mason jars, containing water, 
highly reactive solvents, motor oil, or blood plasma. Pages of notebooks containing hundreds of intricate sketches of industrial machinery. A silver locket engraved with the words forever mine, empty. A fire damaged letter, illegible, in a different hand to the previous diary entries. Multiple infant teeth. Drawings of the chemical structures of methanol, formaldehyde, and glutaldehyde. Used matches. A single human heart, salted. Following the event, SCP-4617 will be unable to physically sense the contained object, and its capacity to perceive the object's existence, even indirectly, will vanish completely in the following hours. 1,802 objects have been expelled from SCP-4617 since its containment. Footnotes 1. Likely the result of formaldehyde exposure, with numerous tumors now consisting of dead, stiffened tissue. 2. Presumed. The origins of many items are yet unknown.